Guys, wondering how you can lose weight after the age of 40, after the age of 50, after the age of whatever? I'm here to tell you. I have recently lost, now, I think I'm at 27 inches and close to 20 pounds since June 1st after going keto and combining that with intermittent fasting and extended fasting i have had a tremendous body transformation and i'm here to tell you all of those details all the new habits that are working for me and why i know they can work for you tune in to learn all of these secrets and more hey everybody kelly alexa here fitness fanatic serial entrepreneur confidence coach and most recently keto convert. You heard me talk about this at the beginning of this video. And yeah, I'm going to be talking about this in this video in the context of losing weight, getting fit. That's what you're here for, right? I have definitely had some success recently in going keto, but don't let that scare you off because I was one of those people too, that when my doctor told me to go keto, I was like, wait, what? I was the most skeptical person on the planet when it came to the keto diet. So don't let that scare you off. I'm here to tell you, it is something that is definitely going to work. It is something that is easier than you think. It is something that is more enjoyable than you think. So tune in, I'm gonna tell you everything about how you can get fit, healthy, and be living your best life after the age of 40, after the age of 50, and beyond. So let's get started. You know the drill. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel and also make sure you hit that cute little bell button to make sure you're notified every time that we put out a new video on this channel. You know you wanna be tuned into what we're throwing down. Hey everybody, okay, I wanna dive right in. And at the beginning of this video, I wanna talk about first and foremost, what was the biggest change? What was the diet that I alluded to? You know, that was, that was the big change. That was the big thing that I had to dive into, the keto diet. Um, so I wanna talk about that first. That was what my doctor prescribed for me. So first I'm gonna tell you about going keto. Um, I'm gonna talk about that and how that started this you know transformation with my body and and also what preceded that and i'm going to also talk about other videos that will be linked up down below and some playlists because i'm those videos go into much greater detail so i'm going to give you a preview of what has been such a great success for me but i'm also going to reference you know where you can go to get bigger detail because I've I've gone into great detail in some of these other videos that are you know if you want to really listen and and find out more um, you can go in and watch those videos after that and then secondly in the second part of this video I'm going to go into specifically what I've been really reflecting on lately which are what am I doing differently right now that I think is having a cumulative effect because I've also been noticing Hey everybody, this is slightly embarrassing, but after recording this video and getting ready to upload the final product, I realized that I went a little bit longer in recording than I thought. So I'm actually making this into a two-part video. So we're gonna have part one be the focus on the keto uh, part of the conversation, the keto diet. And then part two is going to be my new habits, uh, the new products that I'm taking, the supplements. Um, and, and again, that's, gonna, that's how we're gonna divide up this video, part one and part two. I didn't intend for it to, to be that way. I just didn't realize that I was gonna go into kind of such a loungy conversation um, that I was gonna spend so much more time discussing some of these aspects, but that's, Guys, if you've been tuning into the Kelly O Show for a while, you know your girl can talk. So uh, it's something that I'm working on. You guys tend to complain if I make my videos too short. But on the other hand, sometimes I go a little bit overboard and go a little bit too long and make a mini series. So that's what I did today. And hence me coming back on here, letting you guys know I'm dividing this particular video up in two. And that's what we're going to do. So welcome to part one. I will make sure I hop back in here at the end of this video and let you know about part two. I hope you enjoy. 
most particularly, I'm about five months in. I was just having this chat with a friend earlier today. So I started this diet officially on June 1st. So it is, I'm recording this video in uh, like the second or third day of November. So it's June, July, August, September, October. So five months. I've been at this and, and I've been experiencing this tremendous body transformation. And incidentally, I've also been experiencing this tremendous body transformation with minimal working out. And I don't say that because I'm excited that I have been minimally working out. Uh, for those of you that have been tuning into my YouTube channel for a while, tuning into my blog at kellyalexa.com for a while, you know I am a fitness fanatic. I am somebody who loves working out. It kind of mortifies me to tell you that I haven't been working out regularly. Now, before June 1st, for the year prior to that, I was in a reverse diet for a year. I had to scale back my working out. That was... Uh, prescribed for me by my doctor and my trainer, and that was really to heal my adrenal fatigue. I will link up to a podcast I recorded on that if you'd like to listen to that. If if you're hearing me say that and go, and you're like, what's a reverse diet? What is adrenal fatigue? What's that all about? If you suspect that that's something that you have that you might need to do, um, you might want to listen to that. You might want to look into the interview I did with my trainer, Alex Mazurko, she's a very young woman. Um, she also had to do that with her own body. She had to heal her body after being in the figure competition space for several years and just running her body into the ground. Her body gained 50 pounds and she had to just, she'd gotten to the point where she could not lose weight. You know, she had to just stop training, heal her body, go into a reverse diet and, and get to the point where her body was like, okay, I'm ready to start dieting and losing weight again. That's what I had to do. So I went through a re reverse diet for a year. Um, when, my when my doctor, excuse me, told me I was ready to work out, that was when I was also ready to diet. Um, but anyway, um, the reason that I haven't been working out has was not by choice. It was really um, a, not a coincidence. Um, it was just uh, very ironic. I was just dealing with migraines and that has to do with a completely separate issue, <clears throat> a completely separate, separate health issue. Um, but it, it has been very ironic that I've experienced this tremendous body transformation strictly because of getting my hormones, um, in, into, uh, optimal balance with my doctor, my new functional medicine doctor and getting my, um, this, this diet uh, this right diet into place uh, that has completely healed, I don't know if healed is the right word, addressed my insulin issues. So one of the things that my doctor told me was the most important thing was to deal with was my uh, insulin. Um, I'm going blank on, my, on the word here, uh, insulin resistance. I had always thought that my main reason that I couldn't lose weight was my hypothyroidism when she said it was actually my insulin uh, resistance. And so I've had this tremendous um, transformation. And again, it, it, it was very astonishing to me that this was happening without working out. But as I was reflecting, I've noticed more recently the past couple of months that I've even been experiencing, um, it's almost been more accelerated and yet I've added some new things the past couple of months, some new supplements, some new products into my life. Um, I have just started to work out again, but I don't think I have worked out enough that I could say, oh, this is because of my working out. So, um, all of these things considered, I'm going to, in the second half of this video, talk about, you know, what are the things that I think are very important for all of us, particularly once we get to the second half of our life, age 40 plus. Um, and incidentally too, I was getting a massage yesterday and these were all things that my massage therapist was talking to me about. He's like, you know, you're very self-aware and these are, these are really good things that you're focusing on. And, you know, it's all about taking care of your body, taking care of your health, being self-aware. Um, and I really do think the, that these are all things that we've all got to focus on because, um, 
well, I'll get into that second half. But first half, let's talk about keto because that is, um, I, I really do think we all know our diet is so, so important. And so many of you are tuning into this video and you're, you're wanting to hear about this, this whole keto thing. You want to know about, you know, hey, is this the right diet for me potentially? And many of you are, are tire kickers like I was. And you're like, wait, what? Um, it's funny because one of the things that pushed me over the edge in a good way to, to finally decide that I was going to go keto, it, my doctor had told me, she'd given me my macros, she told me this is what she wanted me to do, but it was me, and I will link up to, to my friend Lisa's videos, but it was me watching my friend Lisa, who had gone carnivore and then gone keto and had experienced a real weight loss transformation over a period of six to nine months. And she talked about it on her YouTube channel. It was me watching her videos where she talked about it. She's a fashion influencer, but she'd also put up these videos talking about it. It was me watching her videos on YouTube that pushed me over the edge um, because she's about my age. I think she's two years younger. I think she's 50, I'm 52. Um, I watched her videos and her body, when she was heavier, the way she gained her weight was the same way I gained my weight. Her body shape was the same way. The symptoms that she experienced, same symptoms, the, the way that she felt, uh, everything, just listening to her, I was like, that is exactly me. And the way that, that she lost weight, it's exactly how I've lost weight. The way that she felt is exactly how I felt when I started losing weight. Her story has become my story. It's just remarkable. Um, and uh, I'm just so glad that I watched that video. And I hope that at the more that I put my videos out here and talk about this, that I can inspire more of you. Because that's always been, that's always been why I've put, put myself out there with my fitness um, content on YouTube, on my blog, etc. But now it, I am being much more deliberate and much more intentional um, because I'm, I'm even more passionate about this than ever. Um, so again, let's get started. Let's talk about the keto stuff and, and then we're going to move on to the second half. So again, um, I'm 52 years old. Just for those of you that are new here, my name is Kelly Alexa. Um, just a teeny bit of history before I got started on the keto diet on June 1st of this year, 2021, um, I had been on, I'd been dealing with hormonal imbalance uh, for quite a while. I'd been on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment for some years. I will link up to those videos where I've talked about that. Um, I'd been seeing two different doctors, two functional medicine doctors who were treating me um, some of my symptoms of, of hormonal imbalance had been addressed, but the weight loss piece had really never been effectively addressed. Um, finally, I'd had enough, frankly, um, last summer. This was 2020, and that was when I, the first step that I took was to hire a trainer, um, Alex Mazurko, and um, I will link up to that down below. And um, I've interviewed Alex in my podcast. Alex is the, the uh, young woman I referenced where she had been a figure competitor. She had um, experienced uh, adrenal fatigue. Her body revolted against her. She gained 50 pounds very quickly. She had to go through a reverse diet. She is with level 10 coaching. I hired her to help me with a reverse diet because I had watched her heal her own body and slowly but surely over the course of really two years, um, bring her body back and you can do the same. You can look her up on Instagram and scroll back over time and just see her, you know, if you scroll back far enough, you can see her in her figure competitor years, then you can see her gain a lot of weight and then you can see her slowly but surely heal and then get back to where she is today. And now she helps others. And she is was the, one of the best decisions I ever made. It was very, very hard for me to take that leap and start to reverse diet, scale back my working out. I did no cardio for a year, only limited weight training, no circuit training, no getting my heart rate up, no you know crazy intense working out, only four days a week of lightweight training. 
and walking. That's what I did for a year to just heal my body. I was eating more, not less. But incidentally, I didn't gain a lot of weight. So here I went from eating 1,600 calories a day, working out six days a week, 90 minutes a day, to only walking and working out four days a week and eating 2,500 calories. And I pretty much stayed about the same weight, but you know, obviously I lost a lot of muscle and you know, my body composition changed. I got a lot fluffier. I lost cardio capacity and lost muscle. I probably, you know, maybe gained five pounds or so, but you know, I just, like I said, body composition changed, but you would think because of all of that, that I would have gained 15, 20 pounds. I did not. Um, my weight on the scale, when I finally got the guts to weigh myself again, after all that time, I think I was maybe, I, there was a difference of like four or five pounds from when I was weighing myself the last time I got on the scale before the um, reverse diet. So that was, that. I think that just shows you that my body needed that break. So hired Alex, um, did the reverse diet, you know, took a, took a break, parted ways with my last functional medicine doctor, hired a new functional medicine doctor, a woman, Dr. Ruthie Harper, who is based in Austin, Texas. She is a remarkable woman. I would link her up below. She takes telemedicine appointments. Any one of you can hire her. Strongly recommend her. I've sent her a number of patients who are all very impressed with her. Um, and she is outstanding. She is the one who said, hey, we, we started in October. She said, we've got, a, um, we've got a lot of work to do still with your hormones. You're not ready to diet yet. When you're ready to diet, I will give you your macros. That was in April or May. She gave me my macros. They were pretty much keto. I pushed back. I didn't want to do that. I just had a bad feeling about keto. She gave me a lot of podcasts, a lot of books to read to explain why she wanted me on lower protein and lower carbs. And a lot of it had to do with understanding why women age 40 plus don't need a lot of protein and why we need lower carbs and why this, there's a lot more new data out there for women age 40 plus to explain why keto is really like this missing link. There, this is newer research. This is, there's, there's a, a lot of data, a lot of science to back this up. I, I'm living proof of that. I mean, honestly, let me just be clear. For the past 10 years prior to this, I had been stuck at about 20 to 25 pounds over my goal weight. Um, I've always had just pretty much a very curvy figure. So I, I never had like a big gut. I never had fat rolls. I just carried it all kind of all over my body. So I just was like a very curvy, curvy figure. And, and, and a lot of people that would meet me would think, well, wh why are you talking about losing weight all the time? They didn't think I needed to lose weight, but they didn't see me naked. I knew that I was 20 pounds overweight. Um, I knew that I was not in my right place. I could not lose weight no matter how hard I tried. And I was dieting nonstop and overtraining for 10 years. And then when I started this on June 1st, it was like a light switch went on. Now, was it strictly the diet? I don't know. Was it the fact that I did the reverse diet combined with the fact that she gotten my hormones in the right place combined with keto, uh, excuse me, keto, and then the fact that a week later I added exogenous ketones? Was it all of those things put together? Probably. That's what I think. I think it was all of these things put together. Um, but all I know is that this was the easiest thing for me to do. I, I've had people write into me and say, did you have the keto flu? Did you have diarrhea? Did you have keto breath? Did you, I don't know what any, any of those things are. I didn't experience any of those things. Um, I, I am somebody who is, has been formerly obsessed with food, a binge eater, um, somebody who has a massive, massive sweet tooth, somebody who is obsessed with 
formerly always like making protein pan, tr always trying to find things that I could when I was on a diet, you know, how can I manipulate food to make it taste sweet and, you know, making mug cakes and protein pancakes and using sugar-free syrup and just how could I make things taste like something that I remember, you know, so that I could have sweets? How could I make, or, or how could I go binge in secret and then, and then fast so that I could have something, you know, that I wanted. It was just always, how could I break the rules to have something that I wanted and cheat? How could I live for the cheat meal? And it was just, my whole life revolved around food and cheating and binging and, and eating in secret and guilt and shame. And that was it. It was snacking and obsessing and cheating and, and, and just this crazy cycle. And, and you might think, well, that's why you never lost weight. I, I mean, you might think that, but honestly, I, I think that as crazy as it might sound, I think in a weird way, I was really m more damaged. Like the amount of food that I took in was not gargantuan. I, I think that I was doing more damage with the amount of stress that I put around food. Um, the overtraining that I did, the um, amount of antibiotics and, and pills that I was on, like uh, the pill, spironolactone, Accutane, um, not, not balancing my hormones. I could go on and on and on. I'm not excusing all of that other crazy stuff. I'm just saying one thing I do know about myself is the actual physical amount of food I was eating was not massive. Um, so anyway... When I went keto, it was so much easier than I thought. It happened so much that the, 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 the amount of time it took for me to start seeing and feeling results was so fast. I, I, the first thing was I felt better. I felt less bloated. I, I felt less headaches. I was able to sleep better. And then I just... I remember seeing a change in the mirror and then very, very quickly, I, I do want to say this up front. When I say I, I had this transformation, I lost consistently about a pound, a, a pound a week. Um, and then I would say of recent, the past, about the past month or so, there, there have definitely been times where I was staying at about you know, like I was staying at 147 for two or three weeks in a row. Like I stayed at the same weight for, you know, a couple weeks. But that's a good thing. You know, you can't always continue to lose. Um, and I'm about right now seven to eight pounds away from my goal weight. So losing a pound a week is a good thing. And, um, you know, some of us have in our heads, we want to lose two pounds a week or, or whatever. Like that's that's a dream. That's a fantasy. But losing a pound a week is a really good thing. And that means you're going to keep it off. So that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, I, I would much rather lose it that way and keep it off than to lose it. I think my husband just got home. Um, than to lose it fast and, and gain it all back. So the keto thing for me has been wonderful. Um, I just have never experienced in almost all of my adult life such a transformation. I have, it has been the most inspiring, exciting time of my adult life. I, I feel like I'm going over a lot of things that I'm going to be linking up to videos below that you guys can watch. But I do want to say this again before I hop to the second half of the video. Um, and give you got you know those points as I wrap it up, but I was not able to wear seventy five percent of the clothes in my closet for probably the past ten to fifteen years. I would consistently now here I am wearing a black sweatshirt, so you guys can't tell, but for most of my adult life, I wore all black, and that was because I was hiding my body. I was always wearing blazers, big shawls. Um, you know, I remember I would be at speaking engagements and I would, you know, I would cover up. I didn't want people to take pictures of me because, you know, when, you, when your hormones get jacked, you gain weight around your middle. I was always hiding my body. 
and, and most people didn't realize what I was doing, but I was just always hiding. And, and it was a curse. It was a curse to gain weight the way that I did because people didn't know that I was, um, people didn't know as heavy as, as heavy. They didn't think I was heavy. I knew I was heavy. I was more insecure. I, I was more insecure probably than I should be. Uh, but I was just constantly uncomfortable and um, it's just the greatest feeling in the world to, I remember for so many years I would say, I just want to be able to put on a pair of shorts and tank tops and a tank top and be comfortable. And I, I just want to be able to wear a pair of jeans and a top and not feel like I want to cover myself up because I would always have back fat. And and I feel that way now. And I can, I can, I can just put on an outfit and I could feel good and that is the best feeling ever and that's what I I want for so many women and and I I I now I know I know this is the answer this is the answer for so many women who are 40 plus hormonally balanced imbalanced excuse me with metabolic damage if that's your issue and you have been stuck and not able to lose weight this is what you need to be looking into now caveat you also have to balance your hormones. If you are not able to balance your hormones or you're not willing to look at balancing your hormones, you're gonna have a real challenge. You can't just go keto and ignore your hormones. Like these, these things all go together. So it is balancing your hormones, keto and fasting. And of course, I, I feel like the other magical bullet is, is exogenous ketones. Like that, that's like the icing on the cake. That's like the accelerant that, that makes this fire, you know, burn faster. Um, so for me, like that's, that's the perfect, that's the perfect storm. Um, I'm happy to answer questions on all of these, but that, that's, that's the part one. And of course, yes, this absolutely is not just for women. This is for men too. Happy to answer questions for any of you. Private message me, leave a comment below. Happy to answer questions on any part of this. You just let me know. Okay guys, so we're halfway through this video. I told you the first part about keto and how well it worked for me, how shocking it was for me, how unexpected it was for me, but how wonderful it is. What questions can I answer for you? Is this resonating with you? If so, please give this video a like and please, I'd love to hear from you. Don't be shy, don't be a lurker. Stop by and say hi, leave a comment below and let me know what questions you have. Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in again. Sorry about having to mix this up, but this is the end of part one. Everything that I reference to it that is going to it was supposed to be at you know the end of this video is now going to be in part two. So I will link that up below in the comments. Make sure you tune into part two of this video. That's where I'm going to be talking about um, the piggyback to uh, to this video, which is the new habits that I've incorporated in addition to going keto. So tune into part two. That's going to be linked up below. Of course, if you found this video to be enticing as far as the subject of keto and the keto diet and losing weight goes, I've got an entire playlist that you're gonna wanna check out. I've linked it up here, as well as some other playlists that you're gonna wanna check out as well.